Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Raspberry Pi 5 and Linux Ubuntu tutorials. In these tutorials we explain how to properly configure and use Raspberry Pi 5 for robotics, machine learning and computer vision applications. The tutorials are based on Linux Ubuntu since our experience shows that Linux Ubuntu is the most optimal operating system for the development of robotics, machine learning and computer vision algorithms. In this particular tutorial we explain how to correctly install Brave web browser in Raspberry Pi 5. The motivation for installing Brave is that on Raspberry Pi 5, the standard web browser such as Firefox or some other web browser might consume a lot of memory and CPU power. This is especially the case if you are opening web pages with ads and video ads. They can clog and significantly slow down your system, however you need the resources for robotics and machine learning algorithms. Consequently, you might consider to use an alternative web browser. One of these alternative web browsers that works relatively well on Raspberry Pi 5 is Brave. And in this tutorial, we explain how to install Brave. First of all, let's open a terminal. I'm going to just minimize this window for a second before I open a terminal, and then I will go back to this window. To open a terminal, click here and search for terminal. And over here in the terminal, we first need to update and upgrade everything. That is, whenever you want to install a program on Raspberry Pi, you need to update and upgrade. To do that, you need to type sudo apt get update and you need to run this. And in my case, it's going to take maybe several seconds to execute this command. This is mainly because I often run update. And then after that, you need to run sudo apt get upgrade to upgrade everything. And that's it. The installation of Brave is relatively simple. You just need to go to this official web page. Then on this official web page, if you scroll all the way down, you will see the instructions. And over here, you have the instructions for several Linux distributions. You have for Debian, Ubuntu, Mint, then you have Fedora, Rocky, and the other versions. In our case, we need to execute these commands. So let's do that. First of all, let's make sure that curl is installed. Let me now do this and go back to my terminal and let's execute these commands. This will install curl. You most likely have curl, however it's still a good idea to install it. Aha, it looks like I don't have. This is because I recently installed my operating system. Next you need to run this command. Then you need to run this command and watch out, this is a single command, although it spans several lines. Then you need to again do update. To update the package list and other things. And then you can simply type this command and this will install Brave Browser. And now this will take some time. It, you can see that it's around 380 megabytes, which is not a small chunk of memory. However, it's a very useful program and I like it a lot. This is actually my favorite web browser and I suggest to everyone to use it. Okay, we are almost there. And that's it. Next, let's test Brave. To test Brave, simply click here and type Brave. And you should see 
this lion looking image start here and this should start your brave and here it is here is the welcome menu so now let's try to google something so for example let's go to google.com and then let's type why why brave is a good browser let's see and then you can find a bunch of images you can see reddit and you can see this ai overview it has a privacy it has a very good privacy it's brave block ads trackers and third-party data storage by default it's secure it's fast it saves battery this is also very important especially for raspberry pi mobile data it has a lot of building features and easy to switch very good the next step is optional you might consider to make brave to be your default web browser let's learn how to do that to do that you need to click over here on show apps then search for settings once you click on settings and you see this window you need to find the appropriate option so expand this and over here under settings find apps click on apps and click on default apps and over here for web you can click and you can for example select brave web browser or you can switch to firefox or whatever you like and that's it of course over here you can do additional setups you can change calendar music video etc good